Can I ask you something about the release now? Because I first saw herself some while ago when it was due to be released and then the release was cancelled because of COVID. And then I saw it again just, uh, just this week. And I was looking back at some of the press from it and it's, it is being touted very much as a, an awards contender, which I think it deserves. But the fact that it's releasing now is kind of ideal for that because September is kind of the beginning of awards season. Does that stuff matter to you at all? Because obviously with you know your past movies, there's the Oscar with Iron Lady, there's the extraordinary box office success of Mamma Mia. Does any part of you care or worry about awards consideration? Well, I think that in the case of herself, we actually, um, for better or worse, were in the awards entries last year. Oh, so um, you? It, yeah. So it's it's not eligible this year. We're not a contender, but it's really interesting. Um, sort of now confronting what that feels like, which is actually, I mean, I felt really disappointed that Claire got totally overlooked, but I realised that nobody had really seen the film. Yeah. So it was hard for her to get that kind of, um, you know, to get that recognition. Now I feel it's a wonderfully liberating feeling to think, <laughs> you know what, since then she's made a whole load of other stuff on screen and it's a lovely feeling of freedom to just think, well, it's just the film and the audience and obviously, you know, critics like yourselves who, who can help, you know, drive people back into the cinema, which is, I guess, is that's more, more is the, that's more the preoccupation now is have people got the confidence, um, you know, Claire Bin's a picture has stuck with us right through this period for which we feel so grateful. But, you know, the bigger issue is, yeah, are people feeling confident enough to to come out to see such a film 